Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones continued with the rise today. In fact, US 30 is now trading above 30 to 600, while US 100 has also gone close to 14300. Now, what to expect with the US session? Which position we should take in order to profit trading Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. With the Asia and Europe session update today, I had mentioned we very categorically that for 30 to 450 is the support for US 30 and beyond that possibly we may see it. And for US 100, it is 14 to 60, 270 zone. I hope you all profited there. So let's start. And yes, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe the channel which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis which I share for Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones. First with the Asia and Europe session and next with the US session. This is the second update. Let's start. See, first we have to look at the early charts. If you look at the early charts, you will find 14 to 50 levels. See, multiple candles tried to stay below 14 to 50, failing to do so. We have seen a bullish breakout here. Now, this is the zone between 14 to 40 and 270, which we need to watch out for. Any drop below 14 to 40 is an indication that we are going to look at 200, 170, and 140. Remember, there is a gap which needs to be filled at 14 to 100. Thus, we have to be mindful of those levels here. Below 14 to 40, certainly little bearishness can be expected. Now, also, if you look at the early charts, it is consolidating. It is yielding higher highs, higher lows here. And 14.310 is a greater resistance zone, which it needs to break past by in order to confirm the further rise here. Also, if you look at the 20 period moving average, mo looking upwards, is staying bullish. The stock stick has retraced. It has come out of the overbought levels. The MACD is retracing further. It is divergent. It is bullish, looking upwards. RSI is staying flat here. On the two R charts, if now, see, on the two R charts, this was a consolidation breakout. And since then, we have seen it retracing here. So, yes, possibly once the prices stay below 14 to 70, we can initiate a sell for 240 and then below that 200 levels. Filling the gap is where we can see a reversal. That is one point you should note. Second point is if you connect the dots here, you will find higher lows are observed here, which also suggests 14 to 100 as a great, great resistance zone on the downside. Thus, for the day, uh, I will uh, recommend you to wait for 14200. Yes, you can sell at 14270, but till 14200 is respected, we have to exercise extra caution here. A stock ISTIC is overbought, trying to cool down. MACD is divergent. MACD is bullish, looking upwards. RSI is staying flat. And on the 3R chart, now if you note on the 3R chart, see, bullishness is seen. But the body size, there is a push on the from the top side here. You can see these two candles with the wick on the top side. This suggests there is a push on the top side. And once it breaks below beyond 14,320 levels today with the next candle, if you see the price is staying above 14,320, expect a larger rise can be expected where 14,360 and 14400 levels can be expected here yes beyond 14320 this time more bullishness may prevail which may take the prices towards 14360 400 stock stick overbought magni has crossed over at the bottom trading with divergence looking upwards as of now and right now is staying bullish but it is still it has achieved the top here i will definitely watch out for how it behaves with the next candle rsi is rising coming to 4 hours now look at the 4 hour charts higher lows are observed higher highs are seen 20 period moving average is achieved here remember at this point i had mentioned too much of divergence of price from the 20 period moving average calls for it to converge towards the 20 period precisely that has happened it is almost achieved 30 period moving average i will definitely observe how it behaves around this zone between 14 320 360 achieving these levels also we can possibly expect a pullback Right now, it is shying away to break past this. A stock has taken back to overbought. But look at Magni. This is crossed over at bottom. Trading with divergence. See, the uh, mouth is, is still open. It suggests that it can continue on the upside further with the more divergence. Right now, it is not showing any signs of convergence. What I mean to say is it has to show the signs of convergence where candle size is diminishing. Increasing candle size suggests further bullishness. RSI is rising. Coming to the daily. Now, if you look at the daily chart, see this trend is there in my chart since long and it is beautifully respecting the top and the bottom of the channel. Now it is trying to reverse. Can we expect it to move towards the zone? We have to wait for it to confirm the reversal. If you look at the daily charts, what has happened today? It has given a step towards the opening of the day and 
Since then, it will stay bullish. Prices stay bullish. Lower highs are done. Now, a complete reversal means below 14,240. It has to fill the gap here at 14,200 and then rise. So, largely, I see it staying within the zone below 14,200. Yes, there could be slight bearishness towards 17140. But do not treat this as bearish. It can possibly reverse again. See, the candle size has diminished here. I have mentioned several times. This could be the reversal sign. And now, from here, a retracement can be expected. Thus, even if it tries to drop, the reversal chance will be very, very high. Stochastic rising from the bottom. The MACD is divergent and bearish. And see, uh, too much of divergence calls for it to converge. Candle size is diminishing, suggests that it is going to yield a greener candle. And from here, a little conversion can be expected. See, first wave completed, second wave completed. Now, the greener side of this wave is next wave is about to begin. And this could continue for a while. RSI rising from... And now we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators. Time for me to define the trading levels and strategy. <coughs> and before I give you the trading levels, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can join my mentorship batch. 27th batch is going to start on 28th of November. Equip yourself with the tools, techniques and strategies which can help you identify profitable trades and help you trade profitably. Join my mentorship batch here. The curriculum of the batch and more details, you can reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are available in the ch channel and video description. Also, you, you can visit my platform forexfunda.com. And this is the platform. This is a one-stop shop for everything which a trader requires, be it the economic calendar from data across the globe, be it the markets and the charts. You can search your favorite instrument here. You can create your own strategy and analysis, be it a stocks for in future, for example, CFD cryptocurrency. Uh, indices, bonds, economy, anything and everything which is traded across the globe is available here. You can create your own analysis here. You can also book a call if you need any guidance with respect to your existing positions, with respect to your existing trades, or if you want me to analyze and make a prediction for any of your specific positions or a trade which you want to take, you can book a call with me here. Live mentorship is where you can reserve and reserve your seats by paying for the mentorship batch and the de details of the batch and the fees structure is available here on the under the announcement you will find the details this is the curriculum this is the details and the timing and the uh, registration form is also there the most important part is the discussion forum where you can find the summary of the analysis which the video link is also available and you can have or initiate a discussion at around these forums with the like-minded traders just visit the platform forexfunda.com and reserve your seats. So looking at this, I will recommend you to buy NASDAQ 100 today at 14,320 levels. Expect 14,350, as the first target, 14,400 as the next. Now only and only if it stays above 14,400, we can say that Tech 100 is reversing because if you look at, see earlier 14,400 was the great support. Now it is going to remain a great resistance and beyond this, it is going to hit 14,600 levels. Now see 20 period moving average is far above and it will wait for it to achieve this zone and it can try to achieve this zone here. Thus, beyond 14,400, certainly more bullishness is going to prevail. On the downside, there is a gap to be filled at 14,200. Thus, you can sell here at 14,270, but expect 14,240 as the first support, 14,200 as the next, 170 and 140 as the last support levels. Remember, it can achieve these levels and bounce back immediately. It can achieve the lows and reverse immediately. And hence, still, I will recommend as long as 14, 140 is respected, the drop is an opportunity for you to buy Tech 100 today. Take your trades accordingly. Now, let's say we look it down. Now, see, US 30 has taken the support here at 35, 32, 450 levels. And since then, we have seen this massive rise. On the downside, these levels are going to remain a greater, greater support. It is still staying bullish. It is still looking upwards. The first resistance zone for US 30 is at 32, 700 and 800 zone. This is a greater resistance for US 30 on the upside. The stochastic is overbought. MACD is divergent. MACD is bullish, looking upwards as of now. RSI is also looking upwards, coming to 2 hours. On the 2-hour charts, it has hit a bottom and it has achieved the 20-period moving average, which I had mentioned several times in my analysis that it has hit a bottom and possibly it will try to achieve 20 period moving average. Now remember, this zone make, makes it very, very critical, 30 to 650 and 800 zone. Rather, I will say 30 to 650 and 820 zone. This is the greatest resistance zone for US 30. Possibly somewhere from these levels, it can try to reverse again. Also, there is a gap which needs to be filled today, which is available at 30 to 400 levels and below. The stochastic overbought, 
Look at MACD. This is crossed over at bottom, trading with divergence, looking upwards. This is the first greener candle. Double bottom is done, and it is trying to reverse. Thus, this could be the beginning of the reversal here. Stock is still rising, coming to three. Likewise, on the three hour chart, too much of divergence from the moving average, trying to converge, and it can retest further. Remember, if you look at US thirty, it is largely staying within this channel for long now. Reversing from the bottom of the channel. Now, this could be the possible. reversal it this could be the possible indication for the move towards the top of the channel first thing is this channel which is a slightly bearish channel we have to wait for it to stay above 32900 33000 zone which should be a further confirmation of the rise stock is still rising macd forming a double bottom trying to cross over more bullishness may prevail here stock is still rising coming off the oversold levels coming to four hour charts likewise on the four hour charts consistently staying bullish here consistently yielding higher lows here and yes one can stay short here at 32570 levels expect 32500 as the first target and 450 as the next now only below 450 is where the bears will be taking over and then 32400 now 32400 is a great great support 32400 350 both these two are very very strong support for us 30 any drop towards these levels one can again initiate a buying position too much of divergence from the moving average calls for it to converge towards 32800 levels today a stock is still rising macd is willing to cross over for a buying position it is right now in red rsi is rising coming out of the oversold zone coming to the now look at the daily charts here higher lows are seen and this is the first greener candle how far it can rise it can in fact be a completely symmetrical candle here Higher lows are so far seen. There is a gap which needs to be filled. But uh, I still see every drop is an opportunity to buy today. As long as thirty-two uh, two hundred levels are respected, I will not recommend you to stay short on US thirty. Yes, it is only below thirty-two. Or rather, I will say thirty-two three hundred itself. Below thirty-two three hundred is the bears will be taking over. As long as these levels are respected, possibility of a reversal will be very very high. Stock has taken over. So, MACD is also extremely divergent. It should try to converge here. This means a possible rise and RSI reversing from the bottom. Thus, you can buy here at thirty two six hundred sixty levels. Expect thirty two seven hundred, thirty two seven sixty, and eight hundred. Now eight hundred twenty rather. So these are three major resistance zones. And above thirty two eight twenty, stay long for thirty two nine hundred, thirty three thousand levels. If not today, possibly within couple of trading sessions, we may see it hitting thirty three thousand, thirty three thousand two hundred levels. On the downside, yes, you can sell at thirty two five seventy, but with the caution that uh, support is seen at thirty two five hundred, very very strong at five hundred, four fifty, and four hundred. These three are critical support levels for the day, below which further bearishness may prevail. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Join my mentorship by Signals channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or trading queries. My Telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. See you again tomorrow with the US and uh, Asia and Europe session update. Do watch that as well. Thank you.